Hey Fred Lynn Hornets, this is Brian Bassett, Administrative Coordinator for the International Baccalaureate Program over at Garfield High School. I'm reaching out to you guys today hoping I can interest some 6th, 7th, and 8th graders in a really cool service learning project. As a partner International Baccalaureate School, you guys understand the importance in reaching out to the community and understanding that the gifts that we have and the gifts that we develop and earn uh, there comes a responsibility to also help and serve others. As IB principles in the practice states, IB learners strive to be caring members of the community who demonstrate personal commitment to service and act to make a positive difference in the lives of others and to the environment. What does services action help do? It helps develop responsible action, develop and sustain inquiry, offers students an opportunity for some real critical reflection, helps to take the IB learner profile profile attributes and really put them into practice. Connects the classroom learning to what's going on outside in the community. Helps to obviously develop real world skills and applications and is really a cornerstone of being an IB student and a responsible global citizen. So let me give you a little bit of background on the work that we've been doing thus far and then we'll be able to kind of talk about how we'd love to have Fred Lynn connect with us on this project. So about three years ago, one of our former IB students, Ms. Samantha Boateng, started a nonprofit organization with the intention of improving literacy and reading in Ghana. She wanted to help develop the next generation of leaders from the country her parents, from where her parents were, you know, came from. She felt that sharing her love for reading and helping to increase accessibility to books was going to be the key. So in the summer of 2016, her very first library was built in Bawi, Accra, which is right, you know, the capital of, of Ghana. The library was a partnership between Read to Lead and the Bowie Cluster of Schools. Read to Lead and students at Garfield High School and the new school in Fairfax County raised significant funds collecting and shipping library books and furniture and had the library built and running in less than a year's time. In the summer of 2017, we built and stocked a library in the Ashanti region in the grounds of the Aho and South Basic School. We continue to operate these libraries, running events, sending school supplies and resources, and employing the libraries at each one. This past summer, summer of 2018, we traveled to Ghana with our school librarian, Ms. Campbell, uh, our MYP coordinator, Ms. Della Gordon, and also several students who helped uh, as part of CAS projects uh, doing collecting shoes, clothing, and books, we brought them there to help us with some of our educational programs and help distribute, distributing some resources. We did a lot of fundraising this past year because we know that the summer, to, uh, summer of 2018 project, our larger, largest project yet, a 2,500 square foot library on the property of the uh, Cote RC Primary and JHS in Kumasi, Ghana. This is going to be our most ambitious project yet. This library is going to be serving uh, a community ranging from kindergarten to post high school. So the resources are very broad and uh, yet with such a, a large library, it's important that we have um, enough resources in there to support the local community. So we've been collecting books, lots of books, and these books uh, range from fiction and nonfiction to reference books. And so we have a lot of sorting to do so that when these books are received on the other end, that they're organized in a, in, in a in position to be able to be distributed uh, efficiently. This chart here shows some of the ways that you guys could get connected. Obviously, the first one is just through student and community engagement activities like the book sorting that is going to take place Tuesday. You see that we collect books, we collect clothing, we, we collect furniture and actually secure furniture from um, school auctions and surplus auctions and things like that. And we also try to collect teacher support materials so that we can help entice and motivate the teachers to utilize these libraries with their classes by seeing a relationship with support for uh, the, the important work that they're doing also. Fundraising is a very important piece of this project 
because we like to provide substantial scholarships to the students that will hopefully be traveling with us in order to do work when we're over in Ghana. Also, because all of these supplies need to make their way to Ghana, and the only way that we're able to do that is through container space, whether we are purchasing uh, space on a container or purchasing the entire container. It's very expensive to ship items and also get them from port to location. So we'd like to invite you to come over to our school and help us uh, sort as many books as we can get sorted uh, on on Tuesday from 2.30 to 5 o'clock. And for your hard work, we are providing at 4.30 a nice Ghanaian chicken and jollof dinner with some Papa John's pizza for those who aren't as adventurous. But uh, we'd really like you to come and support us so we can talk more about how we got, can get you guys connected with us on this project. Really hope I can get to see some of you guys this coming Tuesday. If you're not able to attend or participate this Tuesday, remember we will have other opportunities. But we're really looking for some student leaders to help organize.